both you and I, Dave, are big believers in the law of reciprocity. So oh, yeah. two questions. Tell everybody what's the definition, what's your definition of the law of reciprocity and how does it apply to real estate investing? Yeah, that's such a good question. Look, man, reciprocity, they actually did, um, you know, like the, the intelligent psychoanalyst kind of guys and girls looked at reciprocity and it's part of our DNA. And our DNA says as homo sapiens that if I do something for you that is perceived to be valuable, you in return will, will do something uh, back for me. But don't, don't, don't bring value to someone with an expectation of value. Just give because giving is good, right? Start there, right? The, 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 our rewards are coming from high, on, high, high up above. They're not, they're not always coming in, in the paycheck. You know what I mean? So reciprocity is just going out and being of service, I believe. Um, I know a guy. This is, this is my ultimate in reciprocity. I know a guy who's financially stable. This guy has a, a, a couple of boys. Um, they're now 11 and 9 years old. And what this man does is he takes his children to Walmart the last two weeks before Christmas every year. And he will put down $5,000 at the layaway counter and tell the lady behind the counter, pay down $5,000 worth of layaways, whatever comes up on your screen, until those layaways are all paid off. And he just shows his sons that. That's reciprocity. This man, and I've had many, many, many conversations with him. And he says, you know, reciprocity is, has put me in a position to be financially free. And the law of reciprocity says, if I want to keep something, I have to give it away. I'll say that again. If you have something of value, if you're going to keep it, then you have to give it away. Pass it on is what we, uh, what we use for a terminology. So that's my definition of reciprocity. And here's the other thing, man. When it comes to charity and giving and philanthropic, don't do it to get recognized. Do something good for somebody else and then keep your mouth shut. Because that, I believe, is the definition of humility, which works side by side with reciprocity. So that's just my own philosophies on it. And it served me pretty well. It reminds me what Jesus told the Pharisees when they're out there praying in the public square with their arms lifted up. And leg, uh, Jesus said, go pray in your closet and shut the door. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.